A key ceremony like this is the culmination of everything we do at Habitat. It's so exciting the day that we get to honour a family with the keys to their new home. Welcome to this home, but it's not mine. It belongs to one of 15 families. Received their keys today in the Pandora Avenue West development as part of an ambitious project from Habitat Humanity. As one door closes, opportunity knocks for 15 families and dozens more in the coming future as they got to move into the largest and most ambitious project Habitat Manitoba has ever embarked on. These homes not only provide stability and security, but it gives the new homeowners the ability to lay the foundation of their new lives by hand. Many people think that we give houses away, and we don't. We partner with a family and create a path for them to work hard to have their own house. And the first part of that is 500 hours of labour before they take ownership of their home. Once the development is complete, approximately 275 people, including 175 children, will be moved in, including Rosemary Ellis and her four children. Rosemary spoke about her journey from being homeless as a teenager to now owning a home of her own. Today is more than just a celebration of houses built. It is a celebration of dreams realized, futures secured, and lives forever changed. This development comes in the midst of a housing shortage here in Winnipeg, with Mayor Scott Gillingham hinting at future bylaws aimed at helping nonprofits like Habitat for Humanity build more homes faster, including a new concierge service. Rather than having to talk to four or five or ten different departments, uh, you can make one phone call to the concierge and they will assist you. Once the development is complete in 2026, it will house an additional 40 families. Habitat for Humanity has also started working on building housing for 20 more families in the Concordia area. In Winnipeg, Mitchell Ringos, City News.